All right, let's check out Minecon 2023. Bruh, they need to stop the, the, the mob vote. It sucks. Wait, where can I watch the official thing? Where is it? Minecraft? Now, these are all like... Here it is. Live. Okay. That's a waterfall. What are they going to announce? We're, we're a tad bit late, but like... We didn't really miss anything except like the intro cinematic. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like a little ad intro cinematic. We're going to get... What is this? One... 1.21? Is it? Why'd they go to Penn State? What is this, bro? Can we just get the new update? Dude, the mob vote needs to actually fucking end. I hope this is the last year. Or, they could make it better by just saying, Oh yeah, uh, we saw the feedback, we're gonna add all three. This year. Like, they spent all their time on this shit instead of actually adding stuff to the game. It's incredible. Spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the TikTok. Oh, gotcha, Carmen. Oh, there you go. Yes, that's TikTok. right. Hi, Mija. Lego. Lego. Dude, Lego we don't care. Can we just update the base game? Two worlds. Two oh, creators. my God. They do everything Anything except actually add those. content to the base game. I'm Hannah Rose. I'm a Minecraft They do all these collabs. They do all these resource packs. They make all these worlds. Legos. Can we actually just get, like, some more progression? To build their ultimate Minecraft hideaway. They were both sent Lego Minecraft chests containing prompts to back their build. But there's a twist. Neither were given all of the prompts. No, so Alan. Sorry, no, I have school have tomorrow, to bro. The other clues about what they built. And then at the end, Time out. we'll see how similar or incredibly different their builds turned out. Hannah Rose Wait, this was is... given the first prompt. In round one, as you, Hannah Rose, began crafting, you'll start... This is one, this is gonna be 1.21. 1 1 okay. The ground. You must feature a lookout point to watch for mobs, and of course, no home is complete without a craft. Dude, see the thing is, is we we had like the find the best biome in a cherry blossom. I do like the cherry blossom thing, but like, dude, okay, they Rose, promised so much shit last time, like the swamp update, and that was so half-assed. It's insane, like the firefly removal because oh, it hurts the frogs' tummies when they eat fireflies, so we can't add them. Like, dude. The next but I can have a sex dungeon of villagers, and that's not harmful. Enjoy the ride. The process for Stupid. this build started with laying out the overall idea, which consisted of three layers. Look like Minecraft, but still each have their own. No story. way, Ellen, okay, really. Justin, it's time for you to give Hannah Rose a few clues about your build, and she'll put her unique twist on it. You're gonna have to build something that's round, seasonal. Dude, why do we care about Legos? And ride along. Good luck. When you think of Minecraft, you think of blocks. So this is going to be kind of hard for me to build. And I remember when I was a kid and Minecraft was like a really, really new thing. So I'd play it on my iPod really all the time. Build a big and uh, like I, I'd go on like camping trips and shit um, with like other families. And my and I'd be on my iPod touch just playing Minecraft half the time. And my parents would be like explaining to the other parents like, it's like Legos, but on your iPod. My build and, uh, shut up, and the elements that are industrial. And, like, it's like he's using his creative mind. It's good for him. Oh, well, yeah. Just the parts to use for that. Okay, stop. That was way before they ever did, like, a Lego collab. It's finale time for the epic reveal of our Minecraft creations. Oh, wow. Finale. Hey, welcome. Hi. I could have gone longer, but you know what? You, you, you're, the, you're, the, it could have been a good story. Dude, it could have been a good story, but you gaslight me into thinking it's not a good story. Before no. I even begin, so wow. then my brain just like gives up on remembering the fun details. So okay, cool. fuck you. I try to use your hints as much as I um, could. Ashish, I've been live for eight minutes, so door. nothing much. You can actually go inside. Yep. Now let me show you what I made. That's awesome. Is that a giant bee? <laughs> that is a giant bee and a giant skull. <laughs> yeah, after so mine, Con Ashish will watch it. And seasonal. Oh wow. <laughs> and you even got a little cottage under here. Yeah, the cottage and inside, of course, crafting. Can we just skip to like the update point. features? Whoa. But if I remember last year, what's mine, Con? It's where they like announced a new update and shit. Now that we've seen what our creators can Can't do, wait to see what Mojang's been working on for a year Minecraft straight. Maybe a whole new type of wood. Ha! Huh. New texture wood would go bricks. crazy, bro. 1.20 is gonna be sick. 1.21, sorry. Bro, but like... What, what's a no- Oh, NYC! I live there. And the mob vote! And the mob vote. Okay. We need all Jeff, three, bro. Could you please very gently bring this to Tiny Boo? He needs to set them free again. Armadillo, so crab, and penguin. And we have the results for oh the shit. With the least Who's out first? Votes. I want penguin. So 
many of you voted I'm on this Penguin. year, and so many of you joined our it's our, the voting's over. event to cast those votes. But the mob who received the least amount of those votes Armadillo. is I'm guessing the Penguin. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't feel too no. For the Penguin. Remember no. The little frog friends didn't win the vote either, but they still managed to hop their way into the No. Game. So we still have two amazing votes left. Which one will win? Dude, end the mob vote. Seriously. Look, look, look at what the... Di yeah, you. end the mob vote. Anyone? Hashtag stop the mob vote. They better add all... This better be a fucking joke. That's so stupid. That is so stupid. But look, they want to make all these little worlds with resource packs. They don't want to update the actual base game. the opportunity to share my art with the world was a big deal to me. I got started with Minecraft almost this 15 is years ago. Back when the game was in alpha and... I thought it'd be fun to put up a let's play of Minecraft on YouTube. I was Dude. inspired to start creating. We're never gonna get the penguin out. Other people were making. They said, "Oh well, we added the frog." Well, first off, the frog doesn't do jack shit. Or palaces or cathedrals. And second, the amount of other mobs that they've presented in mob boats, they never add them back. Like they've had so many times where it's like, oh, mob vote for three different creatures. I will add it later on when the time is right. The first mob vote, there's another mob. Four years before the another update came out, another update came out is like the uh, a new version of the Blaze. They didn't add complete magic. Stupid. My favorite piece of content. They, they don't add. It. They're lazy. Monster hoodie. It was the first time that I'd done any animation, so it was really nice to have something care. that I was quite pleased with at the, the end of it. Like, none of this is actually, like... It has gotta be my uwu skin pack. Are you kidding? No. Color this, this has gotta be some sort of joke. Uwu skin pack. My favorite piece of content's more but we can't add a fucking penguin? The projects we've done no. Crafty, which is one of our YouTube channels. My favorite piece of content Dude, this has got to be a joke. Of the Zulu. They literally, the they're literally adding an Uwu skin pack. What the fuck has this game come to? It definitely has to be Mobs Evolve. If one of our latest releases is a Minecraft stupid word. <laughs> it allows you to morph into mobs and to evolve them, that's definitely really cool. Something truly magical about watching someone else enjoy something that you put tender loving care into. I love that you could customize so much and how malleable the game itself well, is. We can reimagine things to help you see the game over my you never thought you could. I still get an absolute buzz out of it. And I don't think it's ever going to get old. I don't think that will ever change. You know what does get old? Mojang paying their workers millions of dollars. And uh, there's no fucking updates at all. YT, you streaming early. And don't give up. Try to create work that is familiar to you, that is interesting to you. Learn from other people, help other people where you can. Nice, Methodist. Give yourself permission to make whatever it is you're wanting. An uwu skin pack, yo! Who wants an uwu skin pack, guys? Space, I promise you, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Minecraft has done oh so much God. for me, and it can do Mine the same for Oh, my goodness. We need more diversity, yes. <laughs> I'm back well, come pick this up! <laughs> mm. Time for plan B. Yeah, maybe if they updated the game themselves, it'd actually be good, Mativus. Like, they spent half the time on this bullshit. It's like, this is Jeb. Jeb is like a goat, bro. I don't know what, what they're... Like, what's he doing? There's no way he stands for this shit. He has to just be getting paid billions. Notch is better, but I mean, although Notch is not like the best guy for everybody. Like, Notch and Jeb were the OG goats. For decades, the BBC studio. Notch didn't die? History unit Notch is not dead! Creative oh, but we can't add penguins? To bring us incredible stories You're gonna send the whole fucking team to Antarctica, but you can't add a penguin. Take two days to add in. Holy shit. He's not dead. No, he's not dead. Collaboration between BBC Earth and Minecraft Education. Or he tweeted three days ago. These stories could be experienced. The Frozen Planet Two Worlds invited millions. Oh uh, no! Apparently, he's had like some. To step into our fragile. Uh, I think like some sexual scandals. I don't know. And experience the. I didn't vote, Mativus. End the mob vote. End the mob vote. 
Infused with scientific research, so like none of this bullshit's in the base game. They quickly became some of the most downloaded educational DLCs it's so stupid. in Minecraft history. It's like these little Mickey Mouse DLCs. Next year, we'll embark on okay, a second remarkable journey with BBC Earth. You told your first ever viewer happy birthday yet? Actually, I told him the millisecond it turned his, his birthday. You weren't here. We were there, Alan. We were there. Not you. Also, and those up. It's not Polly's birthday, though, Alan, so. Or Tristan's. Coming to Marketplace and Minecraft Education. Dude, we don't care. How about you update the base game? How about you update Java? That's all we care about. Get rid of Bedrock, get rid of Education, update Java, and make it good again. So what do you Hashtag think? stop them all vote. Hashtag it's only update Java. Beautiful. It's cozy, right? I love it. Oh my god, this. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, so lovely okay, to okay. see okay. you. Okay, okay. They're good. They're good. Literally. That was like the last time they made a good update. It was like 1.7.9. Best update version. That's what we get for Let's add in that <laughs> combat update. <laughs> love it. So last year. You and the team really, you decided to present things in a very different way. Yeah, so the thing they do is they, <laughs> yes, they spread so out the information, so we gotta watch the whole life, thing. We decided to only show part of the Trails and Tales update, and then and throughout shit. the development process, we could announce more features, so like archaeology, the armor dreams, and that's cherry all at once. blossoms, yes, and the very precious cherry blossoms. And Same as we should really like that's that. That's what I need in my... Us ...to be creative, right. and we could collaborate with the community, and we also saw a lot of excitement okay. in the community throughout the full development process. That's what makes a good game, is beautiful. diversity. So we want to do the same approach this year as well. I really love They're doing the same approach? So, no. what's the Minecraft game team up to? Nothing! Well, we're actually doing quite many things. So, for example, we have some amazing developers um, we really working on We touch a game maybe like once a year. To make our development process more efficient and more joyful. Oh, that's so good. So, once a year at the studio, we remind ourselves, Oh, wait, we're supposed to be developing a game. We spend one day working on it. This week, uh, we released two snapshots, betas, and preview. And no, uh, a new really cute feature and that is that you can put items inside decorated pots. I love <gasps> no that. No so way! Really that must took them weeks features. to figure out how to do. Yeah, so we want to like a good balance between adding new things and also going back and improving existing things. That's such a good idea. And we are also working on a new update coming next year. I think we all want you to tell us about that. Oh, well then. <laughs> a new texture for so, wood. You know, long term, we want to evolve Minecraft for everyone. And in the recent years, we focused a lot on creativity mm -hmm. and exploration. So we thought this year... Some end game content. ...to focus more on like combat adventure <laughs> and on tinkering. My tinkering? time has finally come. I okay. am an adventurer. <laughs> I know. So a new dimension? Hold up. And Hold up. Next year, Minecraft turns 15 years old. Oh, wow. You know, Better make really a good precious. update for that. And so we were thinking, wouldn't it be quite cool that after 15 years exactly, of Minecraft, it's time to test your skills in some new trials? Trials. Yes, trials. This sounds like so some endgame we content, are maybe. A new big multiple room structure called the trial chambers. Ooh. Ooh. Yo! And these trial Legendary. chambers consist of hey, like, Mike, multiple new features. And they also have a unique visual style. So, so it's like when you are inside well, This actually chambers, sounds good. Can we see really it? It feels like you are in a place you've never seen in Minecraft before. They're this amazing, is something I've wanted. Act I like combat, like one. bosses and shit. It better be rewarding though. It better have good unique items. Team members, so we can see part of the new this sounds good though. Coming to the update. This actually sounds good. How many people are watching this? Good luck. 470,000. This could actually be... I've been asking for this. Like, hey, boss know. rooms I that you're locked into your that you actually have to... Yes. That reward you I've been digging around with arcades, unique combat and items. I found a trial chamber. Okay, th this actually sounds very promising. Lovely. They better deliver on it. A big part of this update is that we really want to add new adventures. Rare drops. Combat Rare players. cosmetic and drops. the chambers certainly include some exciting challenges. So, Give me new bosses with like 1% drop rate of like a fucking blue camel or some shit. Is the corridor. Okay. Make use of copper, that too. 
Okay, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. The corridor leads to different rooms, and it can lead to supply chests. I like the trims. You can find Armor things that'll challenge you, but also things that'll help you. The chambers are new structures that are combined of lots of different rooms. They are procedurally generated, okay. so there is a lot of variation. The deep dark and was like cool, but so again, new items. Because are... each time we play tested, it felt like looking. finding uh, a new chamber. It was exciting each time. Uh, so there is a lot of replayability. Huh. Okay, but what's the purpose for me Don't to go explore them? Follow me. I really, really like the like the unique visual style we made in these chambers and that was also cool? something we really wanted to achieve like when you as a player find those chambers you know you found something special Sarah Oh hey there Agnes Yeah I need a purpose we are though surrounded by Deep so Dark did not give me a purpose beautiful new decorative blocks The sculpt the sculpt yeah, thing Yeah I think was... the top blocks that will be a lot okay, of fun to build cool. with because True. of its geometrical design Kind of looks like stone blocks except and uh, copper gets more uses too Really? With the copper set, we want to introduce a tinkered kind of feel, and the new copper bulbs give players a fun way to light up their builds. That's good. We actually just used some of them in our village, and it created such a cozy feeling. Doesn't have to be a I'm sheesh. honestly so excited Someone to see what people build with these sheesh. new blocks. I'm just going to take a couple of these grates. The point of Minecraft Ashish is that yes, it can be played by a so 10-year-old, nice but that's like someone with a fucking PhD in computer science can explore the depths of the all mechanics. Of amazing players can just be like super creative and, and tinker with these blocks to build like anything you can imagine. Okay, it's no decorative. Uh, I don't like it. Um... Okay, new oh, item. Here's one of the new item, new item. Smosh we're talking about. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Agnes. Yeah, all the deep dark. So nice. Oh, you, you can adjust the. <gasps> yeah, that's those couple cool. bulbs when they get oxidized, they get quite dim. But with this axe, I can actually scrape off the oxidation and make it brighter Ooh. again. Ooh, I like I that. Love that mechanic and if you so wax it, you can that, keep it in a like, state. The more oxidized the copper bulbs are, that's the more cool. dim the light will be. I think it's super interesting for storytelling. Definitely. I, I don't even need to bring torches anymore to the trial chambers. I just bring an axe and light my way through. Oh, adjustable light volumes. Or levels, sorry. But yeah, the deep dark only added like skulk sensors, which. Trials Bono, time for a combat. A little challenge. limited. Okay, Yay. what do we get? Better have a rare draw. Okay, Come I on, give me some rare draws. The trial spawner, so like, wow. spawning strays. Make more RPG like. What's our plan? Well, I will go ahead and scrape up some oxidation so we can see. New mob? Let's head in straight for the fight. You ready? Don't just spawn in some spiders. Come on, new mob. Iron armor? Yes. What is it? Let's go. Oh, oh no, so many strays. They're strays, I'll take strays. this one. Mwah. Nice one, Agnes. Okay. What do you get for de yes. defeating it? Ooh, those look like some newer... Oh, look, 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 oh, those are ice blocks. I don't know. It seems easy as hell. Agnes, we're covered in arrows. <laughs> Yay! Two arrows and a diamond? Come on. So this is a trial spawner. It's actually a new variant of spawners, which That's adapts it? based on the amount of players no that join the item? fight. It actually spawns a limited amount of mobs compared to a normal spawner. Okay. Yeah, we really wanted this to be a fun challenge, both in single player and in multiplayer. And this is also why we both got some nice loot. So you can see the smoke coming out of the trial spawner. That actually means that it's on cooldown, so we can oh. come back later and play this all again. Farmable diamonds! Yeah, so <gasps> don't break it. We want everyone on our realm to play the combat challenge. Wait! Alright, I'm up for more challenges. Finally farmable- Soon, but first I'm gonna go to the It's village. literally a you go ahead. If the rewards keep going every time, that's farmable diamonds. And emeralds. Oh, hi! Eu estou a caminho da minha maior Damn. Aventura. Wow, Everyone's good luck. Everyone's still saying something about Yeah, farmable diamonds. Easy. I wonder if the rewards diminish over time, but if you find like 10 of those in a nice Bubble little Agnes, chunk, that's a, di away. that's a diamond farm. Oh, an axolotl, of course I want Yeah, it. but, dude, Thank you know you. red stoners will find a fucking way to farm the shit out of that math this and make it incredibly efficient. <gasps> like a ton of them, you know. Oh, that's so pink and so cute. The world could always use more color. That's lovely. Cory, Oscar! Uh, can we hey, get like new functional items though? Like mechanics? 
Hi. I, I know that like too, Matt. It's like you the crafter here. Very intensive. Oh. Yes. With a crafter, you can automate crafting with redstone. What? It's pretty similar to a crafting table, except instead of pulling the item out yourself, you can use the redstone pulls to get it out. That is I huge. I this crafter make hanging signs. Everyone can decorate the village with them. So you can you input like a hopper into it, and then it'll just. And let's Dude, that's place insane a here. for farms. That's like a sugarcane farm. You could craft and it in I'll the paper automatically. The and again. Yay! Lots of hanging signs. Bro, you could automate. So that's ama That's amazing. That is a top tier feature. That is better than anything we've got in the past three years. Oh, that hi. one block right there. <gasps> Storage, the yup. Imagine like a book farm. I hope so. Automatically too. kill the fucking cows. Press one button and then and then wow, shave down the sugar cane. Yes, can craft I've been in a building instantly. an automated sword crafter, but instead of pressing a button, it just keeps on crafting infinitely. Okay. We used the new toggleable slots to make sure that the hoppers place items where we want them. That is nice. Okay. The crafter is, is so precious because you can both do these like really advanced contraptions, but it's mm. also very welcoming. So we hope that it will be delightful to use both for the go crazy. and redstone experts. Literally, Mativis, literally. Before best you head out, best make thing sure since to grab the nether update. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. We're about to head down to the trial chambers. Okay, it's pretty huge. I wonder what the name of this update's gonna be. Like Tinker, Tinker, Tinkering, Trials and Tinkering or whatever. Oh yeah, now this will be a breeze. Nice. Okay, they're doing good so far. It's Magnus. Ready to fight the breeze? Oh yes. The breeze? I'll let it's them take care of that. It's been worse, Mativus. <gasps> What's that? The Breeze is a playful, hostile mob that jumps around and uses wind to provide a combat Come encounter on, unique draw. unlike any other in Minecraft. That's cool. I just got hit by the wind charge. A burst of energy from the Breeze. The wind Hi, charge Carter. doesn't deal any damage when it bursts sure, and geez. blows things away. Yeah. But it does deal damage when it collides directly with something. If damage New me, drop. he'll be fine. Corey? The wind burst doesn't only knock things back. It also interacts with certain blocks. Yeah, like buttons and trapdoors. Okay. Literally, but the I want to be hopeful. Part of the fight. Yes, Carter. We hope you enjoy these playful combat encounters Ooh, it with can the breeze switch. when you stumble across them in the new trial chamber. It can switch things on. It's That's incredible cute, for. But also really rude. That I'm could be really good for some redstone ideas. Yeah. It can flip a lever. That's that's kind of fucking Whoa. huge. Yes, Carter, this. That looked like a really tough fight. It was. What? No unique job, I just though. loved seeing all of you play together on the realm and like letting everyone get to meet more of the development team. Yes, it was so fun. And I think like a really lovely thing with this update is that of course it's fun in single player, but we have also put a lot of effort in ensuring it's very fun in multiplayer too. I can't wait to That's play good. with all of my friends. Thanks. And Minecon was better when it was the eye roll. The first time I saw them, my mind was blown. Yes, like I love the unique visual style we created with like the mm, new decorative blocks. And also we just showed like a few of the rooms. So I'm really looking forward to like when all of you get to explore the trial okay. chamber. Promising so far, but we need more. We didn't show. There's a room that I love so much <laughs> and I can't wait for everyone to like finally get to see it. When I saw the trial spawner, I don't it took me back. Like the nostalgia of the first time I found a spawner. It, it's so cool to see that in a completely new way. Well, that's so lovely to hear because it's, it's actually really intentional because, you know, with the 15 year anniversary coming up next year, mm. it felt so good that like the main thing with the update, the trial chambers, they are actually a nod to a very classic feature, the monster rooms. And yeah. what do you think the community is going to do with the crafter? I can't even imagine. No, like, I just very, very much looking forward to seeing it. Like, everything from 
like the more basic contraptions to the super complex one and everything in between. And I also think it's really nice with the crafter because it ties so well to the more like tinkery side of this update. It really gives you a chance to like mess around with the features that you all added in a new way. Yes. And we cannot forget a very grumpy new mob, the breeze. Yes, this little whirlwind with the most like epic eyebrows ever. However, don't let it fool you because it's actually quite challenging to fight it. And what I like really, really love Why, with fighting the methods? breeze is that since it um, activates contraptions in the room, like that dispenser, is good. dispenser shooting arrows, for example, it means that it's not only That's fighting huge. the breeze, because the environment becomes part of the fight as well, which is like it's a complete new kind of combat challenge. And I like it's very playful. And I, really I agree, like but like if you playful, trap it and use it for combat, some contraptions, it'll really be love. really good. And, Precious. I know I'm not the only one, but like, when can we play it? Well, actually, quite soon. So the features we've shown today Wait, will come it? to betas, previews, and snapshots in the coming weeks. And then, just like last year, we will announce some more features throughout the development process. That's amazing. So that's it for today? We need to head to the Cherry Grove. Yes. I think we should go for the nether for some fast traveling. Perfect uh, idea. We'll keep watching a little bit, but... Don't tell me that's it. The Literally is next to this. Finally here. Oh yeah, who wins? They've given me this fancy Dude, emblem. I can't believe the penguins are already out. That's my number one. Of this year's mob vote. The probably crabs to say, is it this year like we've been item, right? amazed by the massive participation in the mob vote. We've never had so many votes. Stop talking. Your Just passion and energy inspire us to keep building. Okay, so I can't wait to see who it is. Let's get right to it because mm. no one wants to wait for these Not kinds too, of wait. What did the penguin even add? Reminds me of a story. It all started back when I was just a young boy. Oh, ah, what? sorry. It's so unprofessional. Tiny Yo, what's up, Bianca? Hey, I'm in the middle of Minecraft Live. No, I, I know. I'm just telling this super relevant story. It sets the scene. No, I understand. Okay. I don't want to keep... What did the penguin okay, add? Got it. Featured was... Sorry. Um, wrong number. So, the winning mob. Yes. Soon to join Minecraft, the winning mob like for the, the 2023 Minecraft Live mob vote is... The Armadillo! Dude, I can't fucking win. Oh my god. So First, I wanted the penguin. The little cutie in the game. Then I wanted the crab and the armadillo wins. Dog armor is cool, but like, it's like Minecraft. my dog. Like, dogs are so cosmetic already. It's going to be full of fun and surprises. We'll celebrate all of you in the community as we journey through the past, present, and look to the future of. They Minecraft. need a combat there pet update. That would be sick. Things to look forward to in 2024. Like a fucking dragon by my side. For or some years, shit, you know? we've loved Level seeing the Minecraft community like, create unique features, right? Of their like, favorite bro, music. they could be doing all this shit. It's always been no, a wish of ours they had, like, to two see blocks an artist take their own song and turn it into a Minecraft parody. Today, that wish comes true. I'm excited to welcome a Minecraft player who I also happens to be an incredible musician. I just feel like Alex atmospherically, Benjamin. the armadillo is gonna be like the least impactful to the game. What are we doing, bro? What are we doing? I, I, I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get caught. Am I getting copyrighted for this? True, Mativus. Yeah, there's a huge inventory bloat problem that they don't wanna address. Oh, that's awful, bro. Sword. They need a sorting update. It's awful. That, like... Like, there's a lot of items in the game. And we do need more. Because, like... We haven't got, like, a, fun a good functional item in a long time. Except, I mean, the crafting... The new auto-crafting table is nice, but... <sighs> like, usable items. In a while, right? Savannah, yeah. It's good for that. But, like, a crab on a beach would also be sick. A penguin in the ice. But like, why can't they have all three, bro? It's not that hard. They just split the community. They've been... So awful. 
If you need me, let me down slowly. Digging down, I'm down, digging down, I'm down, digging down. But yeah, I, I, I think. Yeah, they, they really need. I, I shouldn't have to. Yeah, is this a parody or. I feel like I, I recognize this too. But yeah, they need. I, I shouldn't be required to spend like 10 hours watching a redstone tutorial on how to build like an auto sorter. And they need to fix it themselves. That's it? Bye bye. What? Psych, we're adding all three. Say it right now. Say psych right now. Say psych right now. Axel doesn't even do anything. Fuck you. Dude, why are we focusing so much on the cherry blossom? That was last year. Say psych right now. Wow, another year where Mojang adds the bare minimum. Love it. We lost. We lost. Literally, Mativus. I really thought that they were going to point the community in a good direction this year and say, we had the mob vote, but guess what? We're going to add all three anyway. No, they're never going to learn. They're never going to learn. It's sad, bro. This game, look at this. Let's, let's do a little uh, 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 a trip down memory lane. Minecraft update history. Dude, look at how much they used to add. How much they used to add was insane. Wait, whoops, I actually have my mic. How much they used to add was insane, okay? Look at this. You go all the way down to one from 1.0 while the game launched, right? Uh, 1.1, wait, does it show me like what, what they actually added? Can I see what they actually added? Hold up. Version history. Okay, at Java, we had Redstone, the Halloween update with the adventure update, added like hunger. Dude, the wither, that's huge, add the beacon, everything. No, they won't be a sheesh, they're never gonna be added now. Redstone, horse. Bro, the, the update that changed, that was in, the Bountiful update, bro, the ocean, combat update. Like, dude, we used to get, we just used to get so much. Uh, aquatic, yeah, the tridents, that was kind of cool. Like, the texture update, wow, new textures, it, it's just gone all downhill. Like, we haven't got good updates in, like, I mean, I guess we had, uh, the nether one was cool. Okay, this seems better. Okay, wait, 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 we start here. Yeah, bro, like, they used to add whole new dimensions. Yeah, but, the, like, the deep dark, bro, like, we didn't get any unique items with it. Okay, so, yeah, early classic, bro, they add, like, glass, like, multiplayer tests. Health and creepers, yeah, health bar. Diamonds, crafting tables. I mean, to be fair, these are, like, the basic mechanics, so. Okay, but Alpha 1.0, we got redstone. Then we get next update, eh, compass, eh, that's pretty small. Did we get anything else this update? Wait, can I click it? Is it? Okay, that lava bucket. Okay, that's that's small, but that's from September 10th, right? From July to September, so it's not even that long of a, a wait, right? And then September to only October, bro. In that span of time, they were able to add the Nether, Nether portal, new biomes, fishing, all in one update. Those are key features, bro. Okay, then let's see. In in in, in two months, uh, throwable eggs. Okay, that's that's pretty small. Leaf decay. Okay, that's pretty small. Um, and then three months after that, or a month after that update, they bring note blocks, huge, cakes, huge, dispensers, uh, cakes aren't that huge, lapis, good for, I mean, that later became very important for, like, enchanting and whatnot, squids, sugar, sandstone, wool, dyes, like, these are big things, and they, this is, like, every month they were adding new shit, bro, beta 1.3, beds, repeaters, um, dude, and then th this, uh, that was only a month after that. Then a month after that, they add dogs, cookies, eh, small-ish. A, a month after that, they add achievements, powered rails, rain, snow, thunderstorms, more saplings. Um, like two months after that, maps, trapdoors, grass, dead bushes. And then two months after that, 
piston, sticky pistons, grass, shears. These are things that we have to wait a year for, for like half of these features. Then, like, three months after that, we get Enderman, Hunger, Creative Mode, Villages, Strongholds. Uh, did, did we also get the end? Oh, no, we didn't get the end in this update. Not quite yet. Melons, Cave Spiders, Swamps, more structures, far, li like, and then how long did we have to wait for the end? Between December, September and November. Took, like, two months. We got the end. Enchanting, Potions, Breeding, Villagers, Mushroom Islands, Nether Fortresses. Bro, this would take us... Like, five years to get at our current pace. And they made this in, what, three months? Insane. Insane. Between that, hardcore, snow golems, nether, more nether mobs. Bro, took them, like, three months to do. With a, a team that was a tenth of the size of the one we have right now. A budget that's a hundredth of the size we have right now. And then, okay, two months later, we get spawn eggs, super flat world, beaches. Okay. And then, how long between the next one? Two months? We get jungles, iron golems, ocelot, redstone lamps, bottles of enchanting, abandoned mine shafts, zombie sieges. That's more than we got in this update we got this year. Literally Friday. And then, oh, how long do we have to wait for the next one? Ooh, five months. We must get some juicy. Yeah, we do. Villager trading, desert temples, jungle temples, emeralds, ender chests. Giant game-changing features right here. Tripwire hooks, writable books, enchanted golden apples, adventure mode huge next next update took us how long like two three months withers anvils command blocks beacons bats game changing update carrots potatoes pumpkin pies item frames flower pots well, yeah, that that would probably take three years for us to get right now in our current development stage and it took them three months three months okay how long between october next update Ooh, that was like six months we got hopper huge Block of redstone, huge. Daylight sensor, huge for a complex redstone builds. Yep, all just redstone shit. Redstone comparator, trap chest, nether quartz, pressure plates. Like, come on. Okay, March to July. What, that's like four months? Horses, leads, coal blocks, carpets. Hor this When I started playing the game, I started playing like here. This is when I started playing. I started playing 2012. Um, Okay. Between horses and this update took, what? This is, ooh, this is like five months. And we got 11 new biomes. Mesas, mega tigers, those are huge. New world generation, stained glass, custom nether portals. I remember that was a big deal. Um, okay, so how long between these updates? October, ooh, it's like 11 months. And we got ocean monuments, slime blocks, granite, andesite, diorite, rabbits, endermites, sheep, mutton. Oh my god, when sheep finally dropped... Oh my... That that was like a big deal when sheep dropped food. That was huge. Because back in the day, you would find a like a, a plains bomb. Oh, only sheep. Guess I'm going to starve. That was huge. Armor stands, coarse dirt, iron trap doors, banners. Huge. And then they got bought by Microsoft. And look at the change. So now September. And we had to wait two years. Two years for the next update. And we get... A pretty big one, though. End Cities, Elytra. This is, like, one of the last big good updates. End Cities, Elytra, Combat Changes. Uh, that was... Yeah, that... That was not the best. Uh, oh, yeah, 1.8.4 is actually... Sorry, like, one of the... Considered probably the best one to me. 1.8.4. I said 1.7.9. No, 1.8.4 is probably the best patch to play on. Um, Like, for, for years until, like... I mean, nowadays, it's, like, you, you get more blocks and shit for, like... When you play high pixel and you don't want to do build battles, but like, oh my god, for the next like five six years, I would only play one point eight point four when I play multiplayer. Is like the update, you know, is the patch. Outer end island shulker shields. This is huge. This is huge. But we don't get this no more. We don't get this anymore. Um, so between February, okay, and then we got another one in like five months. Not bad. Polar bears, magma blocks, strays, husks. Eh, kind of minor. Kind of minor. But at least we only had to wait three. Three months, three, four months for that, right? Then we had to wait another five months. We got Willow Mansions, kind of big. Shulker boxes, decent. Tomes of Undying, pretty big. Llamas, pretty big. Nice, nice. Okay. But then we had to wait how long to get Colored Concrete, Terracotta. Just like new decoration blocks. We had to wait almost a fucking year. Okay. And then what is this? A whole nother year? Uh, 13 months to get seagrass, new fish that don't actually do anything. Dolphins are kind of cool. 
Uh, the Tridents are cool. Drowned it, yeah. Okay, this one's alright. Phantoms suck, though. Submerged Caves, Shipwrecks. Yeah, this is decent. New Water Physics. Yeah, that was kind of a big deal. Okay, I'll give him a year for that. Okay, then we, another whole year. The Villager, Pillage, Village and Pillage update. Not too bad, but kind of, eh. Kind of a controversial update. Then the B update took, like, what, eight months to get this? Just Bs? And that's it? And they don't even actually really do anything? Okay. And then we got another update. Took, what? Mm, good, like, six, eight months to get. Huge. I mean, we all know Netherite, pretty big. A lot of new structures. But then it took us another year to get axolotls and glow squids and goats and copper and amethyst that don't do... None of these do anything. All of this is decoration. Okay, we're, we're almost done, Matt, uh, Friday, at this point. Okay, caves and cliffs. We got, you know, the new, the new cave update. Pretty big. But that took us, you know, quite a while to get, right? And it's like, dude, it's just not... And between then, the wild update, bro, we didn't... The deep dark in ancient cities, like, this is shit mods could add in, like, maybe a month. Alleys are kind of cool, but they don't really do all that much. And, yeah, none of this actually has any good, like, endgame content. Same with the, 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 the cave update. There's no new ores. Same with this part, the, the, the copper, the amethyst. They don't do jack shit. And then we wait so long to get trails and tails. We got armor trims. We got seeds, pottery, sniffers. None of them actually do anything. Bamboo blocks. So we haven't got anything substantial of the game since 2020. 2020, bro. It's been three years. And before that, we didn't even get anything for two years. So we've got two substantial updates in the past five years where Caves and Cliffs is cool, but it's really just world generation at the end of the day. Where this, and in two years, two substantial, and, and, sorry, five years, two substantial updates. And before, between, we got the end, the end, an entire new dimension. Between then, that was November. Let's go to 2012. We got a oh, villager trading, huge updates. Withers, huge updates. Ju like jungle biomes, iron golems, huge updates. Spawn it, I mean, that's really just for creative. Like, this shit, you... In five years, we get two substantial updates, when in two years, they would deliver ten. With a tenth of the size of a team, and a hundredth of the, a hundredth of the budget. We can't stand for this anymore. And they split the community with the mob vote. It needs to end. Alright? Simple as that. Disappointed. Disappointed.